Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we are doing the Matt Manny collab. It's on Instagram. Um, and this month's theme is Matt Stars. Um, and then using your favorite base polish. So I think that's what it was. Anyway, it's Stars. Okay, so this polish, um, it's a gorgeous blue that I got uh, in 2023, because we're in the new year now. This is Essence, and it's called See You Soon. And it's a beautiful metallic uh, blue. So I really like it. So stamping plate we are going to use. This is one of my pick two plates. Um, and it is, so my camera will cooperate. PY-J028 and it's dirty so let's see if we can clean it a little bit I don't know if that helped <laughs> so it's got a bunch of stars and like a kitten so I'm going to use this image here I really like this one this one's kind of pretty too Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'll, I'm going to go with what my original plan was. Um, and we're going to, oops, I'm knocking stuff over again already. Uh, we're going to use some glow in the dark pigment powders from She Modern. So this one's a uh, pink and it glows orange. This one's an orange and it glows orange. And this one's a purple and it glows blue. And they are gorgeous. So those are what I'm going to use. And then we're going to use um, She Modern Sticky op uh, Polish in white. Opaque. So what I'm going to do. Do, do, do I'm going to get a piece of paper towel out. I'm going to rip it in half because, you know. Oops, I'm dropping stuff again. Um, because I don't need a full big sheet. So, and this is like a palette. I like a piece of plastic. I got this from She Modern, like years and years ago, like when she first started. And I'm gonna grab. I'm just gonna grab a little makeup sponge. And. We're going to dump out oh, some of the powders. And I thought with the three colors it would look kind of cool. And these pour out really well, so you got to be a little careful. Okay, so I think I have everything going. Okay. So, so hold the plate. Scrape. I wipe off my stamper or scraper and then I pick up. So let's. So there, looks good. So I, I kind of clean everything before I go. That way I'm kind of ready. So now we're going to Go in and then add so I'm just gonna kind of do one and a half then I'll flip it over and then do the next one Mm 
and then I can flip it around. And then do the pink. So I don't know if it would be. I'm not going to. I don't want to free pour it because. Um. It'll waste a lot of it, and it'll get it everywhere. Okay, so there's the thumb. Get those out of the way. And then I'll brush this off at the end. I want it to um, want it to dry a bit more. So I don't wipe it off until I'm done all the nails. And then there and then there and then I can wipe it off clean off my plate and then we can start So, and there's no rhyme or reason, whatever way I want to do it. I, I do all one line. I got three lines here, so I can do one purple. Do orange. So, I just thought this would be kind of fun. To do and then it glows in the dark because it's been a little bit since I used the glow in the darks and since Halloween I used it at Halloween all the time these were awesome I had so much fun using these at Halloween so there we got two done I thought they would look pretty and I did this image because it's wider, so there's more room to um, like more space to color. Let's go this way. And then roll up. And, and there we go. And then, so we can do pink first, I guess. It doesn't really matter. So I can do a spot there. Let's do like that. Orange. So you can do them whatever way you want. You can do them exactly the same, or you know, I'm mixing them up. So it depends on what look you are going for. So you can go over it again. Let's see. There, there's three. And then if I want, I can add a little bit more glow powder. Probably don't need to, but 
just in case I got two more nails so okay and I use these a lot at Halloween and honestly I I hardly used <laughs> I hardly used a lot of them at all they go they uh, they last a long time that's one nice thing I like about the She Modern products. I mean, they're really well made. Um, they are a bit on the expensive side, yes. Um, but for the quality of product you get, it's really nice. And they honestly, they do last a long time. So. Okay, so what are we going to do with this one? Let's do, let's do pink. And then we can do, <laughs> did I do them wrong? Yeah. So I'm doing, kind of doing a little bit of a gradient with the pink and the purple. It'll be hard to see, I think, like, because um, the pink and the purple look so much alike. So there. And then one more, and then we're done. Now you can save whatever's left. You can put them in a little container, and um, you can have it mixed up. You can put separate containers. It's up to you. So sometimes I save them, like if I've used a lot. I don't know where my container is at the moment. I think it's in my bin there, but I'm not going to worry about it. So. And then orange. I think this will turn out pretty. It looked different being matte too. So, and then pink. Pink for the tips. I think with the blue, it'll make it really stand out too. Okay, so we're done. Oops, knocking, knocking stuff over. Okay, so I'm going to brush these off into my garbage can uh, so I don't get powder everywhere. And then I'm going to clean up the edges and then we'll come back. Okay, so hang on. Okay, so I brushed them off and now for cleanup, I grab a piece of tape and I'll go around and... Um, clean up all my edges now that will usually get off most of the polish sometimes it doesn't with the she modern because it's it's um so um it's stay sticky but it'll get a majority of it off and then i'll just go around with my little brush and dipped in some acetone so okay so i'll be back once i finish cleaning up Okay, so I've cleaned up and um, brushed everything off so it looks really good. So now I'm going to go in with my, this is my Clear Matte Base Top Sealer Watercolor Polish. Now this um, I love, I put it on all my stamping. I'm almost out. 
it's almost done i have to pull out my other bottle that i purchased um yeah so this one will seal in the stamping and the pigment powders and when it's dry uh, it'll go matte and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a glossy top coat on and then i'm going to put a matte top coat because the matte um the collab calls for um um a matte manny but this glitter is a little bit textured and i want it um smooth for when i put the matte polish on it just um it looks nicer when when it's all smoothed out so yeah this is this is almost to the end but this bottle has honestly it's lasted me oh a few months i i think i think when i open the next bottle because um i think i'm gonna write a date on it so i can kind of see how long they last i did order uh the big bottle so Um, it will last longer than the little bottle, but this, this little bottle has lasted me a really long time. I'm like so happy. Okay. So it's starting to go matte as you can tell. Um, so once this is dry, like I said, I'm going to go in and put, um, a glossy top coat and then I'm going to use my matte top coat. So I'm going to use my salon, my salon complete salon manicure, my fast dry top coat, and then a matte top coat. I always do that even, even if I'm not doing glitter. If I want to do matte, I find if you do a glossy top coat first and then your matte, um, because the matte, um, the glossy will smooth out the surface for the matte top coat because the matte top coat shows every little bump whatever like it's it's not forgiving at all so that's why I do that so anyway uh so that is my stars Manny for the matte collab um I'll try and I got fuzzy um i'm gonna try and um i'll have like the collage photo of everybody who participated um and it is an instagram challenge it's not a youtube one i just do uh, a youtube video for you guys anyway you know more content for my channel um but yeah because i don't think all the ladies do youtubes most of them are just instagram so Anyway, I'll try and link at least the collage photo so you guys can see. And then you'll have to go check it out on, on Instagram. Okay? Uh, so I will have swatch photos. And then, of course, I will have Daisy and Pippa. Okay, so thanks for hanging out with me. Oh, and I'll have glow-in-the-dark shots. We're, we're, we'll have to try that, that too. See how it looks. It might look funky because I got the three different... I got one that's going to glow orange, one that's going to go blue. Oh, two are going to glow orange. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. So the pink, it's pink, but it glows orange. And then the orange is orange and it glows orange, but the purple glows blue. So anyway, it'll still look really cool. Okay. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are doing well and you are staying safe and, um, yeah, and staying warm. <laughs> It's cold. Okay. Love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. Bye.
the pre-check and ask their friend for their medical exam and keep a really close eye on them when you see them to make sure they're eating well. Would you mind just closing her off a little bit just around the face? Like all management, Jumbo only bleeds through her nose. So Dr. Chan takes a close look. Let's see your hair. What's with the hairdo? Are you letting Daisy lick you again? Look, you're all wet. You're all wet. You got weird hairdo. Okay? Don't let Daisy lick you. But you say you like it, right? You weirdo. You weirdo. Right? She's like, I don't care. Just pet me. Where daddy going? Sure.